Hey guys, Nicole here. I am at the location that my best friend and I are going to meet up together to scrapbook and to hang out for the next three days. And so I, I wanted to do um, a kind of little vlog, um, just kind of documenting the weekend and just showing you guys kind of how how we do this. So um, we meet in the middle. She's from Denver. I'm from uh, middle Nebraska. So we are each about three to three and a half hours away. Um, we meet in a town called North Platte and um, the exciting thing is that they just built a Hobby Lobby um, in this town. So we're definitely going to um, see that this weekend or go to that this weekend at some point. Um, but because uh, normally these towns don't have really any scrappy um, shopping options for us. So that's kind of a new thing for us. Um, but I want to show you really quickly all the stuff that I packed. I kind of overdid it. Um, mainly because I was in a rush. It's been kind of a crazy week. My husband's been gone all week and we actually just passed each other on the interstate. He's going home as I'm leaving. So um, just one of those things that timing didn't work out the greatest, but that is okay. So um, it is early afternoon and um, I'm just waiting for her to get here, waiting for us to be able to get into our room and we'll get everything unpacked and we'll just chat and, and catch up. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around here and just kind of show you um, what I packed. Just one so moment. Here I have everything kind of all ready to go to go into the hotel room. Um, quite a bit here, again, more than I normally bring, just because I didn't have a very well laid out plan of what I'm gonna scrapbook. So I brought a variety. I brought two trusty fold out tables, which we put up and face each other in scrapbook. And I just brought a bunch of kits, a lot of uh, photo albums and photo boxes this time, just because I didn't know what I was gonna work on. I think I'm for sure gonna work on some Christmas. So I brought a whole bunch of Christmas kits and my Christmas boxes. Um, I'm in the mood to scrapbook Christmas and I just listened to Paper Clipping's last episode that was focused on Christmas. And so that kind of helped help, uh, to get me in the mood. And um, I'm just gonna show you really quickly here, just, all the different um, containers and bags and stuff that I have that's just full of everything. It's not the most organized. I'm usually more organized packing to go home than I am packing to come here just because I'm usually so rushed. But um, anyway, I'm going to stop with that and I will be back when we get into our room and kind of get things set up and we'll stop and say hi. Hey guys, I'm back and we are here. It is actually the next morning. We um, got unpacked last night. We went to Hobby Lobby, went out to eat, did a little bit of scrapbooking and now are up, um, not super bright and early, <laughs> the next morning ready for a full day of scrapbooking. And I just wanted to show you our room. It's, yes, very messy. We take over this whole section, but we have a Bet the bed is in a separate room where we sleep, and so we've taken over um, this uh, entire kind of front room area, and um, we have these tables set up just so we face each other and we scrapbook, and each kind of take a side of the room, and um, and yeah, so that is how kind of we do this. Um, uh, Angie will make an appearance at some point. She did just go to go get a Starbucks, which I'm super happy about. And um, I'm going to hop in the shower and kind of get ready for the day. I think we may stay an extra day this time, which I'm excited about. So um, it'll be fun to see how much we get done. So far, I've only gotten one layout done. Angie's gotten three. We will show you those layouts in this process. Um, so real quick, show you mine here. I'm working on Christmas stuff. And Angie's piles over here. Um, and just a little shot of kind of my mess I have going on. I've combined um, two or about three different Christmas collections that I am working with. Actually, I think maybe just two. And I'm gonna just try to get a whole bunch of Christmas pictures scrapbooked. I'm in the mood for that. So um, anyway, we'll be back soon. And um, after we do some more scrap in and we'll keep it keep watching we will be showing you layouts that we're making and talking about maybe what classes or challenges we're doing so stay tuned hey guys nicole here we are into the um, early evening on our first full day and we are just busy scrapbooking there is miss angie and you say hi, hi. <laughs> the one i talk about all the time the one that i um we meet together to scrapbook, and that's what we're doing now. So we are um, 
we've been scrapbooking all day. We scrapbooked a little bit last night, but at the end of today, we'll show you all the layouts that we've made so far. So we'll do that at the end of each day. Right now, we are working on a class. We're working on a Chamel class, Return to the Collection, and we're doing it together, and we're actually using the same paper lines. Um, Angie actually gave me this paper line for Christmas. It's really pretty. It's We Are Memory Keepers Crush, and it's just gorgeous. And so we decided that we would do a fun challenge and work with the same collection and do a class at the same time. Um, you know, I've talked about that in the past about how I like to do that so or how we like to do that um so I just wanted to check in we'll be back later tonight and we will show you the layouts and projects that we got completed so we will talk to you guys later Bye -bye. hey guys back again we are actually into our last evening of the scrapbooking getaway um sadly we are just still scrapbooking away though. We got a lot done and we will be showing you that here pretty soon. Um, lots of layouts. Um, Angie caught up in our December daily. So we just gotten a lot accomplished. Um, just to show you really quickly just how messy our room gets um, in the process. We are, we are a bit of a mess and feeling bad for the people who get to clean up our room, but it's, fun and we get a lot accomplished so just to show you kind of how things look here so there's our um, our tables and our space and we will be back soon we are going to show you um, our layouts that we finished here's the piles and so that will be a pretty large um, layout share but we're excited to show you what we finished and accomplished and there's Angie scrapbooking away <laughs> so we'll be back soon hey guys we are back and we are done scrapbooking so we wanted to show you our layouts so um, this will be a little long um, we're gonna try to tell you the paper lines we use the classes that we did so you can kind of see what we did so I'm gonna hurry um, so this is, doesn't get too long for you so first we did um, Angie bought me for Christmas the we are memory keepers crush line and she had it as well so we both um, played with that at the same time and we did the Chamel class um, return to the collection is that right okay mm -hmm. so I'm just we're showing you the ones that we did where we followed the same sketch and just wanted to show you how different our layouts looked so these ones on the top here we did follow um, one of the sketches from the class um, so there's those the one on, ones on the left are mine and the ones on the right are Angie's here's another um, example of us using um, a sketch and you can see how different the layouts turned out Super fun. Another one where we followed um, a sketch and used that paper line. I don't know what else. Anything else that you had to say, Angie? No. <laughs> We're just showing you. Doing great. We also purchased a um, Project Life kit when we went to Hobby Lobby, which has that huge love in it, and some of the other wood veneers. So um, we both used it on this layout, but in different ways. So there's those two. And are we still on sketches? Are we done? I think we're done. Okay, so now these are just layouts that we made on our own. So I'll start with Angie's. Move these out of the way here. So Angie made this double spread. I'm still using the same paper line. Is that not the cutest thing ever? So fun. We we both did a, f a few different things. We did a couple double spreads, some eight and a half by 11s, but most of our work is 12 by 12. So there's her adorable daughter. Look at her, what a cutie pie. <laughs> that was the Valentine's page Angie did. And another one. And a lot of these layouts weren't Valentine's themed. They were, um, some of them were, but most of them weren't, honestly, if you look at them. So very versatile collection, really cute collection. There's her little kiddos, look how cute they are. Angie's like the master at layering. This is a great example of that. Super cute. And another one from Angie. Great use of black and white photos with lots of fun color in the embellishments. There go. And then here's just mine. I didn't get quite as many done with this collection, but I got a couple more. So here's this one. 
And my last one, which was a mishmash of scraps, <laughs> mostly. That one's not my favorite, it's all good. Okay, so these next set we're gonna show you are, um, we worked on a some Debbie Hodge material from um, the Get It Scrapped site. Um, Masterful. Masterful scrapbooking. So again, these are following sketches um, created from, from her videos, and we'll show you the ones together that we where we followed the same sketch and how different the, the layouts are. Um, again, Nicole on the left, Angie on the right. So there's those. And it's, kind, it's fun. I need a journal on that one yet. But it's fun to look at them, and some of them are very alike, and some of them are really different. Um, it's always kind of fun to see our, each of our takes on the sketches. So there's those, and I'll journal in that spot above my title where Angie did. So those look very similar, actually, so that's fun. Okay. And then this one here. Um, I had to make a little bit of an adjustment because I had a really large picture that I used. She followed the sketch better than I did on that one, but um, you can tell that they look very similar. And then another one. Oh yeah, these lines are um, mine. I was I mixed together Chamel True Story and Fancy Pants Happy Thoughts. All right. Happy place. <laughs> Happy place. <laughs> and then Angie used a Manby collection from Hobby Lobby mixed with a bunch of her stash. It's like a little boy collection. It's super cute. Okay, so another. These also look very similar, but as you can see, she followed the sketch better with the two photos, and I just replaced it with a larger photo because that's what worked for the pictures that I was scrapbooking. So just another fun way to see how we took the sketch and did something a little bit different with them. With it, I should say. And then Angie's done with the Debbie Hodge part, but I kept, um, I worked through a lot of her videos, so. Um, and also almost finished my college album. So here's just another layout from that. And one more there. And I did um, do some pocket pages, so here's a pocket page that will go on that album. So that wasn't from a sketch, that was on my own. And then this one is very colorful, <laughs> especially on video. <laughs> like, oh, it was really bright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one here. And that one, there was like, I think that was two photos and I just used a four by six card instead of a photo. I actually tucked a photo in behind that, so I'm using it as a pocket. Um, so just another way that you can adjust a sketch. Um, by using Project Life cards instead of photos. And then this is a two page, so a layout plus a divided page protector. And this one I actually follow the sketch pretty closely. So that's one of my favorites, I really like that one. And this was from her most recent cla or, um, collection of videos called Top Heavy. So these next few are gonna be from that where a lot of the photos and embellishments go towards the top. So there's another one. And I really like that one. That one's fun. The banners. And this one, I don't remember if it's from a class or if this is just, I think this is just something that I did. I don't think this is from a sketch anymore. These are just me scrapbooking. So this one I'm not a fan of, but it works. Sometimes you have ones you love and sometimes you just don't. <laughs> and there's that one. Okay. So then these next piles are just, we're going to go um, do Angie first. And these are just ones that she did. And this is still from Mambi, is that right? Yes. Okay. So these are still some Mambi layouts. Look at her cute son. He's so sweet. One. <laughs> that one's adorable. Love that. Oops. Super cute. He's a doll. A lot of these are her little one, her little boy, and now we're on to her little girl. This is probably my favorite of hers, just because it just feels like Frozen, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I love it. Super cute. And this is a Fancy Pants Christmas, new Christmas collection, Wish, wish, season. wish season, which is so cute. I can't believe I didn't 
didn't play with it this I had it with me even that's all good that one's cute too some more Christmas is that wish she's into okay yeah. just I chose the different colors oh uh, okay gotcha see that's the same collection Isn't that crazy and just depends on how you choose your the papers out of it that you can have totally different looking layouts that's super cute I'm still using the wish season. Getting lots of Christmas memories documented. It's a lot brighter. Same, same collection. And this is Bow Bunny. You're invited. You're invited, which I have this collection too, and I can't wait to play with it. So these are a couple from that collection. Super bright, colorful colors. Embellishments. Love it. And then this is, um, this Cedar, is Lane. Cedar Lane. I knew that. It's one of my favorite collections ever. So cute. And that was the last one Miss Angie did this weekend. And then these are mine. And I did a couple little classes at Big Picture. This was one of them. And I think it was a, um, I can't think of the name. It was something about she started with a layout and then like copied herself three times so this was from there and this is just me scrapbooking to uh, fourth of july photo and then this was my own and this goes along with a divided page protector so that's how that will go into my album very sparkly another two-pager this is from document december big picture classes one of my favorite layouts. It took me a little bit of time, but it's super cute and super different from what I would normally do. So I really love that one. And this is probably one of my single favorite single page layouts. Um, just did that one on my own. That was the first one I made this weekend. And another Christmas one. And these are using a variety of Christmas collections. I'm not even going to try to name them all. Um, I mixed a whole bunch together. And then Last but not least, another two-pager. And with that, we're going to wish you a Merry Christmas and happy scrapping. Bye-bye.